Hey guys, uh, TechSpec here, back with another video. Uh, you may notice that my uh, audio sounds a bit more clear, and that's because I hooked up my GigaWare microphone from my desktop onto my laptop. So hopefully it'll record audio a little bit uh, better than the default built-in mic in the laptop. So if it works, that's great. You know, if it doesn't work, just leave me a comment saying it doesn't work, and I'll fix. I'll just mess around with it a little bit more. But uh, today, I'm gonna show you guys how to make animation in Photoshop. Some simple animation with text. Uh, it's not hard at all. What you're gonna want to do is just go ahead and open up Photoshop. Now this is Adobe Photoshop CS4. Just to give you a heads up. Uh, what you're going to click is uh, File New. And you're going to go ahead and create a new a new project. Uh, the width is going to be 350, height is going to be 150 uh, by pixels. Resolution is going to be 72 RGB color, and uh, I will go ahead and choose. I just chose transparent because that's optional. You can choose whatever you want, but uh, I chose transparent. Okay, now once that's open, you're just going to get this first layer right here. You're going to want, but now you're going to want to activate the animation timeline. So you're going to hit Window in animation as you can see it's gone now if you click it again it is there right here and uh, what I like to do first before I do anything is because the text is a color and it's gonna be kinda hard to actually see without a color up behind it so I just click on layer one and just fill it in with a black so it makes it easier to see of course if you're doing a signature or a different type of animated uh, picture you might it'll be different colors so you know just this is for simplicity right here now what I like to do is just put in some text and uh, let's see what we'll type this one let's put in this text back make it bigger I we'll have to shorten that for a little. I'm just gonna shorten that. Oops, spelled that wrong. All right, there we go. Now, what you're gonna want to do now is, now that you see in the animation timeline, you're gonna have the text text spec right here or whatever you called it. And uh, what you're gonna want to do is that we're gonna go ahead and make it going from the left to the right of the screen. So what you're going to want to do is just go ahead and move it. Actually, just hit the first hit the bottom arrow right here. You're going to see five buttons. Five buttons right here. No, four. My bad. Four, which is position, opacity, style, and text warp. All this can be changed for the text. Now, we're going to go ahead and do position. So what you're going to do is click that little clock right here, and it'll show uh, a key fr like a key frame in a uh, flash. But yeah, it's going to show like a little key right here. And uh, what that means is that wherever you move this right now, it's going to be in that position when the, you know, when the actually this it starts, when you start moving. So we're going to go ahead and move it onto the left side. And we're going to move this, the slider, a little bit up. It depends how long you want. If you move it all the way up here and then start moving, the text is going to take a really long time for it to move all the way to here if you put it over here it's going to take a little uh, you know very fast so let's put it somewhere decent right, right here what you're going to do now is just move it let's move it across the screen to right here as you see another frame has already been added now if you play it it goes across the screen now there are varying things you can do with this for example uh, if you move it over here it gets right here now if we add right here if we move this down go back over here and move this up it's gonna miss the text is gonna look weird when it goes across the screen it's gonna go up down up down but you get the picture now what you can do is opacity as well so if you click this button opacity is gonna be different uh, let's see if you make it over here oops wrong way uh, over here the opacity is going to be at default but as it moves forward what we can do is um, lower the opacity so the text becomes like faded out let's see if we can go up to 70 over here oh, 67 whatever 
uh, make it lower over here as you see it gets smaller and smaller before eventually that's a bit too much right there but there's fine and then before you know it text can actually disappear well the text is already off screen but if you play it text appears to you know fade out now there are a lot of things that you can also do with pictures itself uh, that's a little bit more in depth but uh, that's pretty much the basics of making text move across the screen in animation. Uh, again, you can edit these, make them go up or down. Very, it depends where does where does you want to put it, you know. So we could put this anywhere we want, and it will go that way. So yeah, that's pretty much it. How to make animated text in Photoshop. Again, this is the CS4 version of Photoshop. I don't know. I haven't really. I have haven't used uh, CS3 in a long time. If I did, uh, I haven't used the animation in CS3 at all. So yeah, as far as I know, it's only in the CS4. Uh, comment and tell me if it's in the CS3 version. It'll help a lot. But yeah, thanks for watching, and I hope this helped you.